Uh, can, you, can you see a face on the shroud? Have a, have a good look at the, at the um, shroud. See if you can see a face. Mm, so, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. So it's in so. the middle, these are burn marks either side, top and bottom. So the face oh yes, I can't see it now. Oh yes, on. you can see it. Oh yes, it's there. It's there. Okay. Yes. And then coming down the arms across here. Yes. And blood flow down the arms. This is the spear wound here. Yes. Now and that was on the right, on the on left the right side. side of the body, but yeah. when you put the shroud across the body, yes. it becomes the left side of the shroud. Oh yes, I okay. get it. And then coming down to the feet. Here with the, 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 uh, the blood flow through the nails to the feet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now there's a crown of thorns that brings blood down the hair. Yes. And on the back of the head. This is a water stain, but this is the back of the head with the crown of thorns. The shoulders and the marks of the whip. There okay. are hundreds of whip lashes that look like dumbbells that go all the way down the back of the mouth. Amazing. Down to the feet here where there's nails, there's maybe two nails. One in the front of the foot and one sideways through the heel. Right. So, could you tell us about the history of this shroud? The history? Yes. Well, I believe it was found in the tomb of Jesus. Yes. Um, and then we think from there it went probably to a place called Odessa. Yes. Where a king, if you come over here, I can show you that yes. picture. A king called Abgar came over here and he asked Jesus Jesus to come and heal him yes and Jesus said I must do my father's will but I will send to you the legend in the city that a cloth came and the king was healed that cloth disappeared and was hidden it was found in the fifth century six five twenty five sixth century and then suddenly the, with the image of Jesus and what he looks like goes from here without a beard to yeah. here with a beard with a long nose so the image of Jesus so this is evolution of the different faces of Jesus across the culture. Exactly. Well, okay. of, co of course, across culture, and, but this is one of the earliest images of Jesus that we would recognise as Jesus. Yeah. Um, and you can see the similarity between the two: the long hair, the beard. Yes. There's a mark here. Um, the nose is long. Mm -hmm. and there's a nostril. One side yes. larger than the other. And I've seen that image. The one of, you've just shown me. The one of Jesus. Yes. Because sometimes when we look at it, one side is like Jesus is female and the other side Jesus is male. Ah, some people I see what you mean. Some people think Jesus that, like yes. that. So I like think... actually Jesus represents the whole of humanity, not just the maleness or masculinity Absolutely. of humanity. And if you look here, can you see that the image is colorblind? Yes. All you see is the linen, this this faint image of the shroud, and then the blood, which is very red. It's redder mm -hmm. probably than this image would show. So we don't know the colour of his hair or the colour of his skin. Yes. This is a colour blind image. Okay. Because this Jesus is universal to all sure. people. Yeah. And um, can I just show you this? this yes, is, please. This is a black and white negative of the, of this image from yes. a photograph. And if I rotate it around for you, oh yes, you can, can see, see the difference. Yes, see yes, it does it change different faces. Of Jesus. Um, oh, that's is so beautiful. dependent. Everybody knows what Jesus looks like. We see him on a cloud yes. or in a piece of toast. We all know what he looks like and it mm -hmm. comes from this image. Oh, that's very really beautiful. Thank you so much. And they think the image was created by some form of light or radiation. That um, one? Yeah, the shroud image okay. is so faint. It, it touches the cloth and it's measured in nanometers, not, 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 not 0.005 of a millimeter across wow. the cloth. That's and an Italian um, scientist, nuclear physicist, have worked out that it's probably some form of enormous amounts of light and power for 40 billionths of a second. Is that the resurrection? Uh, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Well, I would argue. So <laughs> I wanted to check. So when we when this is a replica, is replica. of what we have in Tur Turin, Turin. Yes. that's in Italy. Yes. Yes. So how did they? How did it get there? Uh, I think it, it went from Odessa to Constantinople yes. and was sacked out of Constantinople, came to Europe and then it, was, it, it went from France to Italy and, and then we can trace its history without uh. any question. But oh. come and have a look at the black and white of the full body. Thank you. Yeah. Can you see this? So this is what it looks like in a black and white negative photograph. This one? Yes. yes. Okay. So there's much, much more detail. So we now know that the shroud itself is a negative image. Yes. And the black and white negative photograph That's how it is look a like. positive image.
is extraordinary. There's one more thing if I can okay, show you. Okay, let's go for this it. This is called the Sudarium of Oviedo. This is the cloth that was round Jesus' head, you know, the napkin that St. John talks about? Yes. Without question, this is this, uh, the, the, that, that napkin. And what they did was they covered his head when he was on the cross. This is the back of the head, and this is blood flow from the mouth. Oh. And when they brought him down from the cross, they folded this over and more blood came from the mouth and the nose. This blood is AB blood group, the same as the shroud. The only place those two cloths could have been together is in first century Jerusalem. Wow. And what's fascinating is it's the same blood group as the Eucharistic miracles. The and miracles that happened today? Yes. Wow. And the miracles that happened since the 8th century, it is the same blood group, AB blood group. Wow. And yes. why is uh, why is this is this blood on the shroud red? Is it living blood? Oxygenated living? Because it's really unusual to have red blood. If you if you cut it's your finger, it's brownish, it goes brown dark brown. Because it yeah. oxidizes because of the iron mm -hmm, in it. But mm -hmm. this remains much much redder than that image would show. If you go to Turin, let me show you the the. Um, this is the spear wound in the actual colour. Can you see the redness here? Yes, yes, I do. And this is called the belt of blood, where it went across the back. And you can see around every wound, there's a mixture of, of red blood and water. But especially around this chest wound, as St. John said, out of his side flowed the water and the blood. You can physically see it on the shroud. Nice, beautiful. Thank you so much for that amazing explanation. I wanted to ask, what is that in that oh, little okay, so this box? Is, if you went, if you went to of the relics of Christ, yes. If you went to Turin, you wouldn't see the shroud. It's in a bomb-proof, bulletproof case with armed guards, um, really? with three inches of bulletproof glass over the top of it, and they don't show it because they're worried about light damage okay. and because millions of people go. Um, so they've got to organise it when it goes out on mm -hmm. display. Um, the sudarium is out on display about three or four times a year in Oviedo, but this you can go tomorrow. To, to Bruges in Belgium, yes. and this is called the Holy Blood of Bruges. And it's okay. basically a rolled bandage soaked in red blood. Okay. Now, my personal hypothesis is it could have been used to tie the hands of Christ together yes. and to hold the body in position yeah. and at burial. But there are other hypotheses of what this could be. But you can see this, you can stand this close to it and see the colour of the blood of Christ oh. in Bruges in Belgium. Oh, thank you so much. This has been a very educative experience. Oh, never, and that gives me the impetus to go and to see it live in, uh, in Turin. Yeah. Thank you so much. And thanks so much for the great work you do. Thank you. Bye.